Hello and Happy New Year. So I wanted to come on here. I got caught in the, we had here um, some, um, what you call it, humidity here in the shot. And all my little cute little style just went, and this is my curls that's left, so I had to kind of recycle what it is. I didn't want to do my hair until later on in this week um, to do that stuff. So this is what I'm left. I got my nice and naughty uh, little clips this in. Uh, as well, but I wanted to jump on here real quick. I feel with the energies and so far with the readings I've been doing for people personally, they like, oh, you're on it. You're like on fire. That's why it's always good to kind of go on sabbatical because you're always using the energies over and over again. And sometimes it's good to kind of go and recharge and redo your battery. Uh, I want to kind of come on here and to um, see about, I've got this thing. Uh, in which my um, lion sister had given to me. Uh, and it's really about the, the, the energies. And I really want to talk about uh, as far as what she said in 2023 is all about me. And I believe that it, it, this is truly what is happening for us. Uh, especially when we're talking about this one. My theme was, she asked me what was my theme. And I said my theme is I'm going to thrive and not just not just survive in 2023. Uh, and so I think that's something that we need to adopt on too because when we're talking about surviving, that's more so coming from the fear-based uh, thing. And so I just want to quickly just kind of get on a message about that. And then I want to talk about um, in the next one uh, about the mask. I had some ideas. Um, Spirit keeps on bringing to me about the divine masculine and about what his actions he's going to do next. So that'll be a New Year's bonus, and I'll release both of those uh, as well. But I really wanted to come on here and to see about, um, you know, how can we go about what steps are they asking us to um, exactly take uh, in order for us to really be in that energy of surviving, uh, not surviving, but thriving. Okay, so the year 2023... The overall theme and message in which we need to be, rather we're in our feminine or masculine energies, is to, again, use wisdom, okay? Uh, and so it seems like to me that we have um, pretty much in the year 2022, and they say transferring over, I feel, in the energies and reading into it, is really, um, this jumps off to me at the bottom of the deck, openness, uh, and this really relying on our intuition and our awareness to remain open to the flow of things. Like I said, there's a lot of things that are going to be kind of different. Uh, a lot of things are some surprises. Things that you said that you didn't think were going to happen are going to happen. I got confirmation through um, that uh, as well. Oh, I didn't wear my watch. Okay, whatever. Um, and so to me, when I look at this, it's, again, it's about taping deep dives. Uh, as well. It's more so about being in emotions and less about when I'm looking at this mermaid, mermaid can come up, but they can't be uh, on land because they can't walk. Uh, to me, it's about that um, really mastering. It's less about the mastery of, of the land, which would be the 3D or here, the earthly plane things. It's more so mastery to me as far as in the emotions. Uh, really making sure the shadow work that we're doing, we're really still doing um, those things in order for us to really truly get a, a handle and be able to kind of swim with the current energies that might be um, presented with us. I'm seeing that the school of fish is here too as well, and so that represents to me uh, understanding of knowledge. Fish is abundance too as well. A lot of abundance is going to be coming to us this year. And so to me, it seems like with that abundance opening up in 2023, we've got to be wise about that. And like wise, how we're going to be using it. Uh, I feel like, again, with these got a lot of school of fish, there might be a lot of attractions of a lot of things coming at you. And you've got to really be able to use discernment to kind of weave through to see what things, who can stay, who can go, what I need, what I don't need, you know, because it's going to be, the, I'm hearing the word plethora um, in the energies to me as well. Um, and so yeah, it's a deep dive. Uh, that's, yeah, and to me, we might be going deeper into the emotions. We might be going deeper into the abundance. Um, there's going to be another level 
to this that we're going into but we got to remember again to remain open because i'm looking here and the stars are going to really start to align truly in the year of 2023 uh for us okay so that's what's uh really our destiny for 2023 for that one um some of the what i said the cosmic energies or the universe are probably going to be able to support us clear in doing so uh, as we're talking about keeping this uh, thriving uh, and not surviving, but also understanding it's all about me in 2023, uh, theme of things, um, which is what? Understanding that don't let your past hold you back. That makes sense to me. Uh, so the universe is really sending that message to us and through the cosmos and everything out there and through the elements of understanding it says through your south node so again you might want to look at your south node and see how that kind of affects you however what we're saying um and with that and i'm not astrologist and i'm not knee deep into that however what we i'm seeing here is is again as we going into the remembering each year brings us uh as my sister had sent me uh a clean slate uh 365 redos or uh chances to get it right in the new year when we step into the year we already have been like they said some people say three months in by no uh, october you should have been acting as if you're already in the year or preparing yourself prepping everything but let's not look at some of the things like if all of us want to step into love let's not look at seeing how things that happened in the past when 2023 hits you know we're really saying this is a clean slate uh we're not um looking at um the jobs or career wise we're really coming in clean slate they're saying you know they haven't had luck on the job before most of the time you know uh, people always overlook me for positions we're not coming into that with energies it's like a brand new person a brand new slate uh and so this is what they're saying about you know in the past not letting that hold you back understand step out of your comfort zone so this year again in order for us to thrive and not survive we got to step out of the comfort zone of always being fearful always be letting that fear put us in the state of surviving uh making decisions based on that we have to again my main thing has been intention setting forth intentions making sure my actions are backing up with that but then also understanding that again if i want to jump to a new timeline i got to pick another choice i got to do another thing so most of the time i might say yes to something this time i've got to try to say no to something in order to recreate something a different um parallel or universe or uh not parallel the universe but yeah they in some ways and would you going side by side with the direction you want to but another um reality okay that's the word i'm looking for in order to present itself into where i am now in this 3d experience uh and so this is what it's talking about that they got north node and south node so those things are very important i would look into that and see about how that is affecting you now too as well also it says the energy is gaining momentum i think the time is right i've heard some even say that again that this manifestation thing is very very fast so again anything that you want to plant seeds or you have plant seeds i think that right now is the time that you're going to see it coming to fruition it's going to also manifest and some things um as far as it seems like this atmosphere the universe or how things are Things are going to get really fast. And you put the intentions like, hey, you know, Jody Wadley, I'm looking for a new love. Or, you know, I'm looking just for love. Or I'm looking for this job. You can sit there and just set forth the intentions. Do your best and your part to go in, in the universe and actually doing something in the physical. That seems like, again, you are really saying, no, this is actually what I want. I'm doing my darndest. Now, may I slip off the path every now and then yes absolutely but i want you to know 919 that my intentions is nine means in the cycles 19 is the catalyst that so whatever this event or this person place a thing happening it's going to act as a push to put you into what the timeline or where you want to actually be and so again with that understanding that the energies are very ripe 
and it looks like to me it's almost like a snowball it starts off real you know how you throw a snowball down the hill it starts off very small and then before you know it it's, it's gaining more snow and more snow is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and it's gaining more speed 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 and before you know it it's like oh my god you know what has actually develop here so that's why you've got to really be on the watch or on the look as far as what your ideas and thoughts is positivity is the key they're saying positivity is the key and this is what is positivity is the key to bring about what things are meant to be so again what it is that you want that you exactly want to come into your life and you know that it is meant to be Again, you've got to really watch it and make sure that you're not doing any kind of actions or intentions that is going to counter uh, act it. Okay. The next thing here we have here is also uh, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. So we're in Capricorn this season, and I think is the full moon in Capricorn came around yet if not it seems like to me that is going to really be a catalyst for to me it's like it's going to open up the door that says cycles i'm seeing somebody like at the door say bleep, 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 bleep. the cycles the time of the new season of karmic cycles ending starts now and that's what i'm seeing so i'm seeing them open you know it's like a royal uh, uh like call um, saying that and so it is it ends now so some of those things again the only reason why they're staying is because you're going to pick up the cross and say again I want to be again crucified all over again for the thing but right now the universe is supporting you into allowing for to let those things actually go this is where we are and it really is not even <laughs> they're saying I'm, I'm feeling even through the energies and um, the guys are sending me messages too as well as saying that hey you know what even if you don't want to let it go we're going to find ways to let it go I tell you this all the time there are seasons and cycles in which some of them that's where that divine intervention comes into play and say it's now time you're I'm seeing somebody like in front of the door holding and it's like this bust of energy on the other side say open 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 and it's been playing around with you you know making it seem as if you got enough strength to kind of keep the door closed as you propping yourself in front of it but it looks like they're like okay that's enough enough and then they're gonna send this big gust and then before it know you're knocking it down and the energy is coming through like that door spirit card is coming through the door and like i'm seeing it just traveling and finding and going exactly to where it needs to go rather it is is coming into you to set forth or into situations i'm seeing it lighting up a room with like people in it and it's like it's lighting situation before you know it that conversation is changing it's like wait a second or this person that you have an interest in, their their conversation is changing so the energy said we have tried it your way now it's time for us to go ahead and move the major players around change what script or what things they're talking about to get in line to where you need to go. So this is actually what's happening is, again, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Uh, and so now some of us are kind of, there's some endings um, that is going on, especially now in 2023. Definitely starting in the Capricorn season. And again, um, going all the way there. So that would be like into January the, what, the 20... Uh, 21st and then and Aquarius starts 22nd uh somewhere around up in there so yeah so you we we're definitely and then you still even with people that's in it that you come kind of cuspy you seven days in you're still into that and especially when you talk about full moon you got the shadows issues there a little bit a week after two days a little bit so you're gonna get a little bit into um uh, picking up like february the 2nd is like really when it's going to really start the door is open and i'm seeing it flooding and so again is this going to be domino affected to them from my understanding like uh energy wise from what i've been researching and seeing and studying march is about the time when stuff really comes to saying okay it shifts it turns around and then it goes on and goes ahead and really start gaining like this is everything i truly had wanted to happen it starts to begin to happening uh in march 
Um, and so that's it. It said around March. But for Aries, because Aries goes direct, that's why. Uh, and uh, Mars, rather, the planet goes direct in the round, or especially on my mom's birthday, March 16th. So that's why we're not getting any. It's kind of like it's, it's building because the doors of the church are now open. It's like the doors and allowing whatever it is, this door to spirit is really going to be opening then. So that's why the tough cycles is starting to end because, again, there's this new energy that's coming in. So that's what's going to be happening for 2023. So what are the actions that they want us to be able to that take the spellbound to take? Okay, that's like the ending. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'll get that later. I don't need to get up for that. So what are some of the actions that they want us to take? Clear. Light Sears deck. And this is if you are in your female energies, divine feminine, or divine masculine energies, period. Overall energies. You got the three of wands here. Am I right? Yep. Three of wands. So this again, I can hear what say. This is the surfer girl. She's waiting. To me, when I look at that, it's saying you're waiting until, that's that wisdom again. You're waiting until the time is right. When a person is surfing, they're always looking for that right wave. They don't just jump on in and say, oh my God, that wasn't really the right wave. That was a mini wave. I didn't get too much momentum. Uh, before I know it, I kind of crashed. Uh, what is it? Wipe out. I wiped out <laughs> before I could even get them again. They look for that great wave that's got that momentum that's going to be able to ride them, that's got that power, and for them to be able to um, have that high, and they're balancing themselves while they're on the surfer. So it takes the surfboard. It takes a lot of things. Again, just like I said, divine intervention here. This to me is like divine intervention card, and this is also divine timing card. So we got to again, and what I tell you about divine timing, it's like no, I can hear people say not divine timing. I'm so tired of that damn gone phrase. But again, it's everything's got to be in play. You got to be able to have the skill and the balance to balance yourself on the surfboard. You've got to wait for the nature and the flow of things, and what that means in life and the tides and the ebbs and flows. For the ready to move forward, you got to make sure it has the momentum to be able to carry you. You got to make sure that when you get on the wave, you're going to be able to sustain it. That means once you get the very thing that you want, that it will be sustainable, that you'll be able to carry on with whatever this gift or this opportunity that the universe is bringing you. So this is all players have to play their part. Uh, in this and so this is again what the universe wants you to do so right now you're studying you're ready you use the wisdom knowing when is the right time to strike when is the right time to do this thing so you'll know if it's in love and you're seeing somebody and i know that when you're out there playing the field you know or you're looking in the field as well you know it's kind of easier you're looking are you the one are you the one you the one is again using wisdom not just going with every tom dick and harry uh, and then, you know, you're saying you're giving your all to that one, give your all to that one, give your all to that one. And then at the end of the day, you're depleted. You know, it's really about, okay, I'm picking and choosing who I am going to be with or picking and choosing who gets my time. You know, I had learned that even in um, listening and studying where some of them say, you know, you're very valuable. You know, when you walk into a room, you are, you know... Again, people being in your essence or being in your presence, it is truly a present for that to happen. Everybody does not, does not need to be invited into your energy field, okay? And so understanding that, especially when you're talking about spending time with people or going into any kind of like a relationship or any type of connections, rather it's job related or you going into business with somebody, you know, they got to understand that you are valuing their time and their patience and their talents and abilities that they pour in. And they've got to do the same thing to you. It's an even exchange. And your presence is a present 
to whoever it comes into contact with you. And so that goes across the board with all relationships, too, of whatever kind of connections that you have. And so this is also something that's got to be in play in understanding that you're getting the people that understand your value. And you, too, through your wisdom, are getting to see who is really of value and who stays and who goes, okay? So that's something else I'm looking at the bottom of the deck, which is temperance. And that makes sense to me. At the bottom of the deck is temperance. So that means, again, you got to balance both. You can't be too giving, giving. You can't too much in control. It's got to be an even give and take. Uh, and I think that's something that really for us is twin flames or whomever are divine that's really trying to be the best version of ourselves are finding out on this is really understanding about is this an even exchange here even if I'm high in this and you're low in this you're high in something I'm low in this and I feel like we mesh well together it's no more I believe that we're doing this and that's where that healthy boundaries coming in where it seems like I'm giving uh, 80% and you giving 20% I, I I feel like coming into this year, since we're saying the theme is I'm thriving and not surviving, a lot of times we would do that because we were surviving. We were fearful, oh, if I do this, they're not going to stay. Or if I do this on the job, they're not going to think about me as for promotion. They're going to look over me and go to somebody else. And now we're at the point, it's like, no, I'm doing me. Uh, again, it's all about me. It's about me creating a better version of myself step into my greatness and being truly the divine expression of myself too as well and so in knowing that this is something in which is going to help us to get into that vein of thriving thriving means again it's like again it's passion it's the things within myself i'm feeding myself internally or in internally or eternally within myself, that flame that I have ignited within myself that I can really help to sustain and give air and give oxygen to myself, that I can keep the flame going. That's what, to me, thriving is. It's like I got my thing, my very thing that is feeding me and fueling me, and I am flourishing on my own. That's what thriving means uh, to me. Or, again, it could be things in the environment, things I'm doing is helping too as well. But we don't want to get to that point that it's codependency as well. What are some other things that specifically that the universe wants us to take as far as steps? Oh, uh, here we go, because I did have it, and then I start moving things around. I'm kind of drawn. Okay. Okay, let's see about this one. Okay, that's it. I felt the energy still on that one, tugging and pulling. So what are the steps they want us to do? Self-reliance. I just said that. Just relying on oneself. Also be a self-reliant. That like even if I take the not the the bumps and the bruises, I still again bounce back up. Okay, and I'm not looking for again. That's going back to Dr. Martin Luther King's thing. I'm pulling myself up by my own bootstraps. I know in one of the reasons that the last one was talking about that, be a little leery of looking at others to help you to go on ahead and to. Um, to, to tell you where you are, what your truth and what it needs to be. So again, understand that, especially what you're saying about cactus, because the cactus is able to thrive. It doesn't need food. It has its own water. It has its own nourishment within itself. And it helps to, again, going back to that thriving, to be able to be self-reliant on itself and also be able to feed itself eternally as well. So this, to me, is like the road less traveled. So you might be finding yourself in 2023 taking roads that nobody else is going on. But again, within yourself, you know the way. You need to also, the steps you need to take is, is be your uh, authentic self. We talked about in the last reading, I believe, uh, that I talked about was really being authentic, 2023. Being authentic, being very true, watching the integrity. I told you a story about me getting my hair done and stuff and the dye. Again, we won't, don't want to continue to do things in which is harming ourselves that is not in alliance, alliance or in alignment with what we are trying or going or supposed to be showing up in the world. 
as ourselves. And so it's very important that, again, that we are authentic. And if it doesn't feel right, like uh, Johnny Cocker said, you must quit. If it don't fit, you must quit. You got to let the things go. And that's why I've been doing kind of such a side. Like, part of me is like, oh, I could do that. It's not that big. And then another part of me is like, no. And so right now I'm asking myself, does it feel like they're taking your power by you doing making that decision? And I kind of get a feeling, this little nudge, I get a little something in my stomach, or it does a little clutch. And it's like, uh they kind of take, I feel like they take my power away. Then I kind of talk to myself, say, you know what, do you really truly feel like doing this? If you got that feeling, and like you said, I got that feeling, then you shouldn't be doing it, okay? Uh, again, life's purpose. They want you to get yourself in alignment, too, using your intuition and your awareness, with your wisdom, which is, again, uh, being life's purpose she has glasses on that means really being able to read this saying read the fine print make sure that you are really detail orientated this time you know because i know i've been a person that I always tell people i can see the big picture seeing a little finite little details to stuff it's kind of like eh, i like allow other people to do that but now spirit is telling us no more of that you've got to be able to look at the Big picture and the small details because what the devil's in the details. Something that can be thrown off or throw you off can be found in places or little small things that you have just overlooked or say I don't because you kind of falling back into your old ways or old patterns. And already since the 2023 and two and three equals five, which is about you again letting go and really moving on. And not moving so, it's a letting go and not being so slow. Well, that's true in the head about some things too as well. Have faith. This is what they want you to do. I see crystals all here over here. Crystal, uh, clear uh, quartz crystal. Getting crystal clear as to what it is, set forth the intentions, and have the faith that, again, the universe is going to bring that very forth thing to you. Getting yourself in alignment, seeing yourself in doing that. Ebony? Seeing yourself exactly doing that as well. So you want to make sure that uh, you are aligning yourself to that as well. Uh, the next thing is Ebony. Excuse me. Ebony. Does your sister feel like me too? Okay, maybe she left out. Okay, next one. Right, I know she wasn't. Next one is speak your truth. Um, I told you something about the chakra, the throat chakra, was that in somebody's personal reading, uh, talking about that, talking about the throat chakra. Uh, it's very important that, again, that we're doing that, not only for ourselves, but also, again, um, that's going to help also for uh, many of our divine masculine energies, either it's with ourself or even in our person that's sharing our energy field. Uh, it has issues with expressing. Uh, if we power empower our throat chakra, that's going to help us to be able to even express ourselves in our own worlds, but them too as well as far as their feelings and how they feel about you, about the situation, about everything. So that's important because, again, not speaking your truth, some of us, again, we got shades on. Some people might be even having experience people throwing shade at them. You might not be seeing things crystal clear too as well. And then also we got the third eye, which you are trying to really be able to envision where you want to go. But you can't give voice, verbal or nonverbal, that's aligning yourself to the intentions and where you want to actually go to as well. Uh, as far as how you want things to manifest. So it's very important that we really deal with that. I'm seeing we got roses and thorns. Uh, to me, when I look at that saying about the roses and thorns, that understanding again, in order for you to have beauty, there comes pain with that. So sometimes, I think I heard somebody was talking about that, says sometimes uh, even with dealing with loved ones or anybody, sometimes again, you, you telling your truth is always going to be painful for others to hear. And so it doesn't matter how, again, if you feel that X, Y, and Z is your truth and you have to express it, 
that is really the job. It's not your job to see do they understand it or if they agree with what you're saying. But um, take out not understanding. It. Well, yeah, that's true too. But it is their job to understand it. That is that it has to be stated and it has to be said. Uh, agreement to it, confirmation or whatever like that. We can sit up there and agree to we disagree on it. But again, that's my truth. And so that's something that again that spirit wants to in 2023. You're gonna find yourself speaking your truth not only to yourself but to others too as well okay and then the last one was uh was this one what is uh the universe wants you to know clear about 2023 so whomever finds this rather you're the female divine feminine or divine masculine or whatever oh here we go new beginnings 2023 is all about new beginnings. Okay. Interesting. I see a stream, water, the sun, and the moon. To me, that's yin and yang. I see birds there, which is about ascensions. I do see a little bit of mountains there. So that means it's still going to have some challenges there. But again, uh, there's going to be new life, new energy. Spirit is going to be there. And there's going to be growth there. And there's going to be new pathways and new opportunities being presented to you. That's going to help lead you into transformation. Because I see the butterfly there. Which is also always about transformation of self. All right then. So we're excited about 2023 so very much. So thank you so very much for listening. Coming in. Make sure you smash that notification bell. Because, you know, I'm kind of here sporadically. But you want to make sure that you're here to get that information um, that I have in order for you to be able to take that into your life and help you with your journey. All right. Until next time, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascended. And I'm going to stay. And I'm going to go. Happy New Year. Happy New You. It's all about you. And we are thriving, not surviving. All right. Until next time.